And the program is called the Nature Conservancy. We conserve nature, basically. We, we chop down um, invasive trees. Being here, it's, it's basically um, something new. It's, I, feel, I feel like it's more, it's more of a privilege instead of a job. We're trying to expose uh, these kids to something that they don't have in their lives every day and that's an intimate connection with the outdoors. We're on like Indiana Jones right now. It allows us to see different fields of study for one and it allows us to find something new to care for. Like everybody knows of the environment that a pollution this, pollution that, but nobody really knows like how to control invasive plants or how to main, how trail maintenance works or something like that. So in a way it kind of improves our spectrum of how the environment actually works. Just, you know, just more knowledge on, on the environment, on nature, you know, on, on the kinds of trees that there are. Because in New York City we don't know what trees that we have and that, and I think we should because we should be more involved in um, nature and especially what's going on with um, um, global warming. Prior to this, I didn't really care about the environment, so I, I guess I do have a new appreciation for it. If these kids never step foot in the woods ever again, hopefully they take with them the knowledge and the, you know, the importance that this is in, in so many lives across the world. I believe it's important for these kids to be exposed to the environment, to understand how um, important the environment is. For example, um, one of the kids, um, expressed to me before while he was in Brooklyn at home. He used to, whenever he would buy like a Gatorade bottle or a can of soda, he'll throw it on the floor. In Brooklyn, I am the one that's littering, but just the other day I was picking up the trash. So it kind of gave me a different aspect on just being, saving, like being more into the environment. It's karma, so because I'm used to being the person that throws the trash on the ground. So I feel like I won't do that anymore because, I, because now that I was the person picking up somebody else's trash, it's, it's different. I think they're making some very, very good footprints. These are, this is the next generation. I mean, this is, the, this is gonna be the torchbearers that are gonna bear the burdens of the environmental problems that my generation and generations before us have left. I want to give priority to the stuff that's going in. This is hard work. There's nothing easy about this. And, you know, you're far removed from the conveniences of the modern world. And if the going gets tough, you just have to knuckle down and get it done. Now that looks like it's poison ivy. Lucky you. Lucky me. Being here, it's, it's, it's taking me out of my element, taking me out of what I'm used to is, basic, is, is seeing buildings. And being here, I'm here, I'm experiencing um, nature, having chance, in, I'm, I'm getting a chance to see all these new plants and all of that. So being here is something different and it's something I'm not used to. So it's, it's, to it's something totally different than what I would experience if I was in New York. Especially in a place like New York City, where we're having a lot of our interns from, uh, they don't really, the connection with the air, the water, how that's filtered by the trees, the upstream watershed, that's really a disconnect because they just assume clean water just comes out of a tap, fresh air, you just breathe. Most of us have a standard form of how the environment looks, which is just a forest, a tree, a bear, a coyote, which as you can see out here, there's none of that. It's just a creek and stuff, which it gives us a more, it gives us more of a feel how the environment actually looks and feels. And not only does this this program teach you, you know, things about nature, it also teach you things about life in general. I am the anchor to your soul, Nick. I think I've grown in a more mature standpoint, and I've also grown, and I think we've also grown a, um, grown a brotherhood here. I think that these are some of the good steps that are being taken towards including minorities into this, this field. I mean, this, we have faced a lot of problems that are threatening this planet. It's going to take more than, it's going to take all of us to help right the ship. It shouldn't just be one race doing everything. I say that black 
blacks as kids have to expand their field and their vision a lot more than just the city.